I'm excited to talk to my fans. Clearly, none of us were getting blowjobs from fat people or or girls. It's like, are you? You're disgusting. You're just. You have no accountability, and you just. You're disgusting. I may live in Seattle, but I always have a sunny disposition. I'm Michelle from the Bronx, and I'm far from a real housewife. I'm Eric, and I have a dog. Hey everybody, Eric Curto here from YourRealityRecap.com with your week three and four Real Housewives of New Jersey recap, where we fill you in on everything that you guys missed from the past week or two. Because you know, something really good happens, then we'll come to you that week. If not, we're going to hold off and do them every other week. Now, we have so much to get into, we just have to get right into it. So, you know the deal, you can follow me over on Twitter, I'm at Reality Recaps. Hey, it's John Richardson, follow me at Comedy Jonah on Twitter. Yo, what's up, it's Michelle from the Bronx, you can follow me at You Got Bronx on Twitter, talking housewives. Okay, everybody, so we have a lot to get to. We need to backtrack a little bit to last week to talk about the only thing that really mattered, which was the Teresa and Joe confrontation at the gym. Well, and then the fat-ass gym comments. No, no, no. So what are you guys thinking? Teresa just walking up to Joe like, no problem at all. Hey, hey, with her stupid-ass whiny voice. Go. I loved it. I don't care. I wanted to see them talk. Of course I would love it. You know, I want to see Teresa be Teresa. And yes, Joe over there, standing there, um, getting into it in a tit for tat, like sibling type thing. But I really think the best part was when Teresa walked away and she flung that garbage pail. Uh, <laughs> I hate doing this Housewives show because I feel so strongly against Michelle and I feel like we are ganging up on you. But Michelle, I don't understand. Teresa was totally like she didn't like it when joe gave her back her own medicine that's what i cannot stand about Teresa. she can talk shit about everybody but the second you're like oh should i say how you don't cook should i say how you don't do this because you say my wife doesn't say then she's like oh what i gotta bring that up uh, uh, i'm Teresa. i hate you john jump in before i have something to say about this non-cooking thing you hurry up Say it, Michelle, because I have something else to say after that. Because here's the whole thing. <laughs> Joe would not be the tubby wubby Joe that he is if Teresa couldn't cook. It's not all the pizza that he ate when he had the friggin' shop. Teresa can cook. All these people that say she don't cook, they're lying. She's got to be able to cook. She's got kids. She might have people come in. She might have people help out. But she cooks for Pete's sake. Give her some, a, a little credit, you know? Boiling I mean, pasta is not cooking, okay? That's all she does. I was just going to say, yeah, bit. it is. <laughs> Putting a little bit of olive oil on some cooked pasta is, not, is that that's skinny Italian. I got her first cookbook. That's all it is. Just a little basil, some olive oil, and some cooked noodles. Really, Teresa? Michelle, it's like this. Hi, pizza place. I need some fat ass pizza for my fat ass <laughs> husband. Is this the hypocrite pizza part? No. Look, here's my other problem. How convenient was it for Teresa before she even did her voiceover when she was like, um. Uh, da, 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 uh, okay, and uh, da, da. before writing out her little blog, before she even had the voiceover of people don't say I don't write my own blog, I was like, oh, this is the segment called Teresa tries to convince us all she writes her blog, and then she went and said it. No, you don't. See, I I think the fights look a little staged. Have I been watching The Housewives too long? Everything's looking really staged. What really creeped me out was when she was talking about the girls walking in, and thank God Joe and I just finished. Burp, 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 burp. I mean, it was disgusting, don't you think? I honestly don't remember that, so I'm talking. I'm glad that I don't remember it. <laughs> yes, yes, Michelle. Yes. I remember it because we talked about it already. She squealed on an insert and went, No, they got you and I just finished. It's like, are you you're disgusting. You're just uh, you have no accountability no, I... and you just you're disgusting. It was last week, and then don't worry, because in true Teresa form, she was able to roll it back and be like, I was talking about kissing. They walked in on us kissing. No, Teresa, yeah, yeah. you didn't. You didn't. We, we don't all kiss naked, Teresa, okay? Come on. Like, everything is everybody else's fault but Teresa's. If she just took, like, this much responsibility, I wouldn't hate her so much. Unless you say it 
as she said it. You cannot deviate one bit. She will have the right to deny it because it's not what she said. And that's where people start the argument. And they're saying, no, you said that. And she'll stand there and say, no, I didn't. Because she knows what she said was a couple of words, either left or right of what everybody else is saying. So she's standing there and assuming that she is right in what she said. And I agree with her. But it comes down to semantics. With that family, everybody's got to be right on point or else you're not getting the point. Yeah, it's semantics. And she's a sociopath. She's, yeah, she's definitely a sociopath. But I just think if, you know what, if she would just own it. Okay, you know what? I made fun of you in my cookbook. I'm sorry. I meant to be a joke. You guys are, your feelings are hurt. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You know, it's, yes, we get it. You're one of the original New Jerseys. It's your show, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? Lighten up. There's enough room for everyone. Stop being jealous of your sister-in-law. Stop being jealous of your cousin. Everybody can have successes. Lighten the fuck up, Teresa. I so disagree with you because, yes, she does own what she does. It, again, it comes down to the semantics part of it. And, and, and that's... And, and, it, it always will come down to it. If they don't say it right, she won't have to own it. But she owns what she says. And she'll say, I said this, not that. I'm here, John. I'm Hello. looking for an elephant in the room. Is there an elephant? Uh, well, I don't know. Did you bring it home from I, I'm wearing pink, so maybe I'm the pink elephant. <laughs> <laughs> housewives, take a tip from Michelle. Just keep a log with you at all times so you have the exact wording of what Teresa said, and then she'll own her shit. But if you miss one word, no, 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 no. When Melissa admitted that she did tweet and put out the caddy tweet, he was like, all this time, man, I've been blaming my sister, and you go and do this? You go and do this. Like, like he had no control over what she did, and now Teresa is justified. There you go. For what she's done or how she's reacting. But by your standards, Michelle, Melissa should just completely deny responsibility because Joe didn't get the wording of the tweet correctly. No, this is only applies to Teresa. That, that has to be exactly. Hey, wait. Okay, yeah, well, we all know that also Melissa denies everything regarding the whole stripper thing and all that. So everyone's got their basket of fucking denial going on over there. Nobody is clean. Does Sorry. anybody even, like, what is going on with the manzos? Are they getting creepy to you okay. or what? Okay, okay, okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah, um, it's talking if we got about a Hoboken. Having <laughs> the kids, I don't want a girl because from this age to this age is the slut years or the, the blowjob <laughs> years. What? <laughs> I, exactly. Since when are fat girls responsible for the for only being good at? <laughs> I still think it's weird that Caroline has that apartment, and I just wonder, is there some divide happening that they really don't want us to know about? I, that is how I have felt up until this episode, seeing her and her husband, Caroline, and why can I not remember his name, interact, made me feel... I, I can never remember anybody's names. It made me feel better that, okay, that's not the situation. But I agree. There's something weird about this apartment and the kids, and they're, like, being hypersensitive on their relationship all of a sudden. I, I'm, I, we've touched base on it before. I'm pretty sure you guys are like, Caroline needs to be in her kids' business. That's why she moved to Hoboken. I, I backed her play and said, no, she just wanted a different variety. Maybe she moved there when Sandy came, and, and who knows. But uh, the, the location definitely spur some suspect on the Manzo husband and wife relationship being well, listen, I've been on Team Caroline for a number of years. This last year, I was swaying. This year, I'm really swaying. Let your boys and your daughter find love. Stop sitting there saying, oh, but they got to work, and their spouse needs to understand that, and they're hardly going to see them. Let them find love. Wouldn't that, as a mother, you would just want your children to be loved? <laughs> you controlling bitch. <laughs> I'm done with Caroline. Oh, my Read gosh. Your I... Read your book, Caroline. Read your book.
Well, I'm just glad that she's no longer getting involved in anybody else's business that you gave Teresa the I'm done with the facial at the facial what? party thing. What do you mean yeah. you're not getting involved in anyone's business? That is Caroline. She would <laughs> she wouldn't be on the air if she wasn't involved in someone's business. Where can you rent a kitchen, an industrial kitchen by the hour? What? Apparently in Bergen County, New Jersey. <laughs> you can get hookers, you can get industrial kitchens. Go John. Go, John! Go, John! Go, John! Listen, I understand what he's trying to do, but he's going about it the wrong way, okay? Put your fucking cock back in your pants and let Kathy run her show. It's her show. Educate her on business. Stop trying to do everything. Don't be a dick in the box. I mean, get the blue box. <laughs> Maybe what, what, like... A uh, 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 hundred thousand boxes on order without even consulting her. Like it is her dream. It she wants to go about it at her own pace. I understand. We all have little things that we want to take our time with and marinate or whatever you want to use. And this was the step that she was doing on her own. And he went and he just steamrolled over it. On top of getting her the kitchen, I was like, really? You need to put him aside. Put him in some baker and let him just get up, be on toast for a little while. But the cannolis look good. The cannolis look good. And I Kathy, prefer... I want a good cannoli. Send me some cannolis. I got nothing over here. And I want a cannoli in a blue box. That's all I got to oh. say. I want to cut the ribbon. I want to cut the ribbon. Kathy, I feel you might not want to send us cannolis because I call you Reconstructo Face. So... <laughs> So, I don't, Kathy. I don't. They, and I do love you, Kathy. I love you. Send us some cannolis. I don't like the way your husband's treating you. I just can't agree with these two or it'd be boring to watch. I say kick his ass to the curb and get your own brown boxes, because I was actually watching the show. They were in blue. And do a little ribbon on them. They were blue. Well, I mean, he's like Middle Eastern. He's like Italian. I mean, he's probably Lebanese. So much just, he's Lebanese. Whatever, Middle Eastern. So he's probably got so much testosterone he's about to freaking explode. You know, so calm down, Richie. Calm down. It's funny. All right, so let us wrap it all up with uh, Rosie. We need to end on Rosie. So first, her sit down I can with end Joe. On Rosie. You what? I can I can end on Rosie. She hasn't had sex in six years. I can end on that. Oh my God! <laughs> Does that include masturbating? You know, when you talk about sex, and again, we're going to go for not safe for children. I would definitely say safe for children, safe for work, safe for your grandmas. I would definitely say sex is sex, except when it's with yourself. Because it's just getting the job done if it's by yourself. So, Rosie, if you haven't had sex in six years, I have a funny feeling the person that you're tweeting in your pictures is helping you out with that one. Next. Am I next for Airtime yeah. Teresa? Am I next? I'm going to call a family man. I'm going to call her and I'm going to ask her to talk to me. And I'm just going to do it for you, Joe. You know, I love you like a brother. And, you know, just one more time. Just one more time, all right? All right? We're family. You can't have your parents do that. Come on. Uh, We're family. Right. How can you That's do that? Right. Teresa, what would you like to drink? I'll have a wine. Walk away. Comes back. Here's a martini. It looked like a tutti fruity friggin' in a martini glass. It, didn't even, it looked like a Shirley Temple that's gone a little wrong. I don't know why you would bring her that back. It looked but Unless delish. you said, hey, double dose it because I'm going to slam the shit out of her later. So... Put some extra in there for me, buddy. And I didn't even look up. I didn't even. Ha I didn't have a chance to look up the club where they were at. So if Club Six Eleven is a gay club that they're filming at or not, I don't know. But uh, they kind of panned out to the uh, people that were watching. And you know, so yeah, went Rosie went from like calm and collected and let's talk to batshit crazy, justifiably batshit crazy, within two seconds. After Teresa could not stop once again putting the blame on everybody else but herself. That was it. And she knew it. She Teresa said one line and that shut up Rosie. But she's also grown up with her, knows her temper, knew that she can blow up and then come back down, get the second glass of scotch. Uh, I, I don't love, think anything. I good. love Rosie, but I am so sick of Teresa's eighth grade education. Her inserts, she cannot <laughs> recite any quotes correctly or anything it's like get your ged and come back next season okay 
Uh, no, no disrespect to everything that went down in Jersey, but I have a funny feeling that production is having a hard time finding a nice place to film them. So that's why they've always either been in a gym or inside. They really only show the front of the house and nothing outside. And maybe that's why they're showing Hoboken uh, and just in the apartment and really not anything else. So now they're going to take them over to this retreat. Oh, my God, I never talked so fast in my life. Ah, you guys are lucky. You know, before we wrap up, I just want to give a shout out to the ladies of Orange County and congratulations on your 100th episode, ladies. Woo-hoo! Bravo. We are. Yes. yes, we love you, Orange Orange County ladies. We love you. And that's all. Hey, guys. Always fun dishing about our ladies. Follow me at Comedy Jonah. See you next time. All right, you guys. We're done here. Done with New Jersey. Follow us on Twitter. You got friends on Twitter. You are the kid. Well, that about wraps up our Housewives of New Jersey recap for this week, but I just have one major announcement for you guys. We've been listening to your feedback and we have split up our iTunes feed. So now we have a video only feed and an audio only feed. This way, if you don't want to get all this goodness in video form, you can just get the audio version to go on your favorite iDevice. If you don't want it in iTunes, you can also subscribe in our RSS feed. So all the links for that are below or over at yourrealityrecap.com. Don't forget to check out everything around this video, subscribe in YouTube, and just, you know, we have so much goodness in store for you. And if you guys are Big Brother fans, you're not going to want to miss the tons of content we're pumping out for that right here on this YouTube channel or over at yourrealityrecap.com. So until later this week, if you're a Big Brother fan or next week-ish, if you're a Real Housewives of New Jersey fan, we'll see you guys all then. Bye for now.